Hey everyone, Andrikats here and today we are diving into the Trading Post rewards for April. We've got a blend of Plunderstone Pirate inspired items, which obviously are not the same rewards with the renowned track items, but rather a neat addition to the mix. Plus, there is a bunch of spring themed goodies in store. Without further ado, let's jump right in and check them all out. Starting with the priciest items and working our way down, first up on our list is the Dreadwake Mount. You might already be familiar with this pirate ship if you've had a 6 month subscription in the past, however, if you missed out on it, fear not, now you can acquire it with using in-game currency, which is always a welcome addition. That being said, the Dreadwake comes with a hefty price tag of 750 tendies, but it is so much worth it. Next, for the same cause, you can snag a back piece, an expensive investment for a Trasmog item, but it's quite unique, it's a treasure trove similar to the one you carry on your bag in Plunderstorm, and then, you know, someone decides to take you down and there goes your treasure. Well, in WoW, no one will take your treasure chest away, it will always be on your bag, so don't worry. But jokes aside, while this item was available last September, its steep price might have deterred you then, so now's your chance to get it. At 650 10 this age, we have two ensembles, the swashbuckling buccaneer slops and the fearless outfits. These sets offer more pirate-themed Trasmog options at a slightly lower price point. Moving down the ladder, we come to the Spring Gravelous Lavender Collection, priced a bit cheaper. It's one of my personal favorites this month, a full pink color Trasmog set inspired by the Noble Garden holiday event. This will cost you 500 tendies and includes a dress and a hat. But for the love of God, can we let the hair be shown underneath the hat? I mean, I look like a bald potato. <laughs> but anyways, the following item comes in at also 500 tendies, the Savage Blue Battle Turtle. It's essentially a reskin mount of the green battle turtle we had before. While adding a blue variant is alright, it doesn't particularly impress me. However, if you are working towards completing mount meta achievements, this one could still be a valuable addition to your collection. Moving further down the price ladder, we find a selection of items priced at 310 each. First up is the Warhammer of the Hubris, a 200 purple maze, which is pretty nice. And the next one is the Invenom Gut River, a red and green dagger. In the same bracket, we've got another ensemble, another spring inspired outfit. It includes a chest, waist, legs, and boots. Additionally, at the same price, you can grab the Spring Sun hat, a cute accessory to complete your look. For 250 10 days, we have a green longbow, a green recolor version of an older bow from Wrath. It's a solid choice for those looking to add some variety to their ranged weapon collection. Next up, we have another back piece available this month, the Assassin's Bandolier. It's got a pretty cool aesthetic, perfect for stealthy characters or those going for a rogue in spa look. At a slightly cheaper price, 225 10 days, we have a Viking theme helm piece. Personally, I'm not a big fan of Vikings, but if you are, you are in a good luck. For 200 tendies, you can also snag the Delicate Silk Parasol, a toy that adds a touch of elegance to your adventures. Interestingly, in March we got the Jade Color version, but this month it's all about the white color, and it's actually pretty nice. I'm currently aiming to collect 300 toys, so this one is high up on my list. Next up, the Blade Master's Violet Stones is a revealing chest piece adorned with only purple stones around the neck. I'm not really a fan of these, but if you are, well, it's nice. <laughs> However, I'm a big fan of these spring themed dresses, and this next item definitely catches my eye. The Dandelion dress is a charming yellow robe available for just 200 tendies. So yeah, I'm uh, very excited for this one. At 175 tendies, we have four Plunderstorm inspired hats, including three recurring ones, the Crimstone Bicorn, the Dread Admirals and the Iron Tide. And then there's the Frenzy hat of the Deep Blue, a shark hat. Yes, um, I'm not kidding, this is actually a shark hat. If this isn't your favorite piece of this month, then honestly I don't know what it is. Just imagine this on a Vulpera, I mean, how adorable would that be? Absolutely marvelous. <laughs> also available at the same price is an offhand book, a paladin inspired weapon with yellow and green touch to it. Moving on, we have the Mogu inspired polar, the Champion's J Cleaver. It's quite massive, so take that into consideration before buying it. 
although if you do make a mistake you can always refund, so no harm no foul. Additionally, there's the Gossamer Emerald Gown. We've seen quite a few of these gowns in the trading post, so here's the green one. I really like these kind of dresses, um, they're so nice, uh, and I do hope we get more. Additionally, there's the mantle of this scholarly raven, which supposedly resembles raven shoulder pants, although it doesn't quite hit the mark for me. Not gonna lie, when I first read the name, I would prefer to see something more akin to Medivh's shoulder pants instead. Um, but yeah, we got this. <laughs> so yeah. And rounding out this bracket is the Dadelion attire, a formal yellow chest transmog piece, which is really good in my opinion. Although it does look a bit too bright. I mean, I do hope they tone it down a bit. And uh, yeah, next for 110 days, there's a variety of options available. You can snag a classic violet tabard, two bundles of muted green cloaks with scarf or hoodie to take within as well an emerald green long cloak, which is really nice. There's also a pair of purple long gloves that complement gowns perfectly and a violet long skirt adorned with a bow on the front. At only 75 tendies, you can grab two shoulder pieces, one in green and one in purple. I'm not really a fan of this new design of cloaks, but if it's something you like, uh, here's another two colors. At 75 we also get two very simple weapons, a two-handed staff, uh, basically a piece of uh, wooden stick and a very simple axe. The cheapest items this month though are priced at 50 tendies and they are all spring themed. We get a brown belt, boots and matching pants for the chest piece we covered earlier. As I mentioned, it does feel quite bright, I mean, I do hope they fix that. I don't know if this is intended, it sure doesn't feel like. But yeah, that uh, pretty much sums up all the purchasable items available in April's trading post. But that's not even all, as always, for completing the trader's log, we receive a special reward. This month's reward is Aura, a dark battle pet. Personally, I quite like this one, but I'm not entirely sold on the idea of rewarding us with pets. As someone who isn't the biggest pet collector out there, I honestly would prefer to see rewards like Trasmog ensembles or some new fancy mounts. But hey, that's my opinion only. I mean, I would love to hear what you think in the comments. Do you like to see pets as monthly special rewards? Or would you like to see something different from the list, like uh, mounts or trasmogs or, I don't know, toys? But yeah, that's all. Thank you so much for watching my content. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell for more content. Good luck with whatever you're doing and I will see you all on the next one. Bye!